Let's take a look at how a training session would work in HEG Studio. I have the headband already on and I double click on the program and you can see that already my graph line is showing. This is where we started and it keeps adding on as we go along. Notice that while the graph is going up, the robot moves forward, and when it goes down, he moves backwards. I'm going to stop the session, and by clicking on the stop button here, I've ended that recording, and I'm now able to start again. Remember that we have up here in the upper left corner the version of HEG Studio that I'm using, 0 0.4, the name of the client, and I have the file menu. Here I can set up a new user, simply typing the name in here. That will create a new folder, and I'll be able to save information in that folder. I could also go to the switch user option and choose from any one of the users that I had already set up. I have my controls here, start, record, pause, and stop. Down at the bottom we have our feedback controls. We can choose to change the video and we can choose to change the sensitivity and the responsiveness of the program. Sensitivity ranges from 1 to 1,000. 10 is a good place for most people. The higher the number, the faster the video will move. And responsive will make the feedback move forward and backwards very quickly as the graph goes up and down, whereas smooth will make the changes in the signal smooth out a little bit more so it's not as irritating running forwards and backwards. I usually have the client close eyes before starting and just relax for a minute so that when I tell him to open his eyes, the program will be starting and we'll see where his brain was before he started focusing and then I'll ask him to focus. One of the things that we want to see is this graph going up. As I just focus on the screen, it goes up. And you can see that my video is going forwards and backwards. I should be able, by just focusing on the screen, to make the graph go up. And I should also be able to defocus and make it go down. I challenge clients to learn to do that. What does it feel like when I'm focused? What does it feel like when I'm not focused? Make it go up, make it go down. Let's change the sensitivity and see how that changes things. We'll go from 10 to 100. And you can see that that makes the feedback way too fast. We could try going to 1, the lowest, and that really slows the feedback down. Now if I make the graph go up, the video moves much more slowly. Let's see how things change when we go from responsive to smooth. Notice I'm going down here and yet the video is moving forward. because what we're doing here is comparing where I am now against the average for the session as opposed to where I was in the beginning of the session. If I wanted to move this window 
so that I had it on a different monitor, I could right click on it and choose detach. And it's now separated and I can drag it onto another monitor. I still have the controls on this monitor. When I'm finished, I drag it back, right click again and attach it. If I want to save the session, I click at any point during the training on the red button here and it will allow me in the folder that I'm in to put the file inside this folder. The name that's suggested is the date and the time and I will simply put in R for write. Click on save and now when I stop the session that's saved. One of the things that is very powerful in HEG Studio is the ability to review sessions. I go to the file menu and choose review sessions. And now I can open the auto saves folder and I'll see that I have a lot more sessions in here including one of them here which is very very small because it was just when I started at the very beginning of today. I can right click on that and choose to delete it. If I click on any one of these and then choose to open, it's going to give me all of the sessions that I've saved in the autosave folder. I can look at them by date and the time that they were done. And I can see how I did relative to the baseline. But there are a lot of sessions in that folder. If I go into the review sessions again and just look at the ones that I've actually saved, select any one of them and click open, it will give me all of those. And it's an easier file to look at. On this page, we have several options. For each one of these sessions, we have statistics. What was the baseline? Where were we when we started? What was the average for the whole session? 115.32. What was the final value? And then what percent increase was there for the average over the starting point and the end over the starting point? Currently, we're using the arrow. If I wanted to move things around, I could choose the hand and move. But the more useful one is the magnifying glass. So in this session here, there's a kind of an interesting thing. Although the session only shows a 0.2% increase and a 0.4% increase, there is a stretch here where it looked like I went up pretty well. So I can click on the magnifying glass and click and drag to create a square that covers that area. And then I let it go and that area now becomes the whole graph. I zoom in on it. And I can see that in this area by itself, I had a 3.3% increase over the mean and a total of 7.2 from where I started. Double clicking on the window goes back to where we were before. So there's a quick overview of some of the functions that we have available in HEG Studio.